CBB's Bedtime Story. Hello everyone, I'm Mrs Beasley. I'm going to read you a story, a really magical story about a boy whose imagination goes wild. It's called The Wonder and it's by Faye Hansen. This is a boy whose head is filled with wonder. On the way to school, he wonders where the birds are flying. You've got your head in the clouds, sighs the park keeper as the boy nearly steps on his freshly mown grass. Waiting for the school bus, he wonders, who makes the clouds? Wake up, daydreamer, grumbles the bus driver as the boy bumps into another passenger. On the school crossing, he wonders if the lollipop lady's sign tastes as orange as it looks. Pay attention to the road, snaps the lollipop lady. When he gets to school, he wonders what the best playground in the world might be like. No daydreaming today, warns his form teacher. In his science lesson, he wonders how the stars shine. You can't be scatterbrained in a laboratory, barks the science teacher. In his art class, the boy finds a blank piece of paper waiting. At first, he can't think of anything at all to draw. Just use your imagination, his art teacher tells him. As soon as his daydreams are set free, they take off across the page. And the boy flies with them over a park where no one keeps off the grass. Then soaring up into the sky where the cloud makers put out candy floss dreams. He dives into the land where everything tastes as good as it looks. Then joins the parade around the best playground in the world. And finally, far above it all, where the galaxy makers gather, he helps them buff and polish each shining star. Time to stop, says his art teacher. I'd like each of you to come up and show me what you've done. Trembling, the boy walks slowly to the front of the classroom. <gasps> How wonderful, gasps his art teacher. It's like a daydream. What an incredible imagination you have. Which is of course true, because this is a boy whose head is filled with wonder. Enough to share with everyone. I hope you enjoyed that story. Are your heads filled with wonder, just like the boy in the story? I bet they are. I bet you could come up with some amazing things on a blank piece of paper of your own. Just think of all the pictures you could make and all the stories you could write. Thanks for listening, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your bedtime story. See you again soon. Bye bye.